Hello and welcome to the SAP HANA development for SAP Business One eLearning. My name is Ralph and today I'm going to show you an overview about web standards and technologies and how they impact in the development of SAP HANA applications. Why is this relevant? First of all, the SAP HANA sets a new paradigm in terms of application development. We are very used to work with B1 SDK and DI API, UAPI, all proprietary technologies from SAP, but now we are adopting more and more open standards, which means web applications at the end. Uh, those applications are 100% based on thin clients approach and are platform independent, which, mean, which means you don't need a .NET environment to run your solution anymore. You just need a web browser. And that's why we need to understand the web applications in the first place. So let's start with an overview. Web applications are client-server applications, whether our client resides on the web browser in the user's machine, and the server is the one that provides the applications. The other communication is done using HTTP, uh, and the requests come back and forth from the client to that server. There are several kinds of requests that can be made, but we're gonna see it a little bit more in details in the future. The server processes all the requests that comes from the client, whether it's to retrieve a document or show some information or send an email, for example, and provide the feedback for the clients to present. Some examples of web applications are the ones that we use every day, like Gmail, Facebook, Twitter. Every app that runs on a browser is considered a web application. Short introduction about uh, HTTP. So how does the client and the server inter interact? Basically, the browser sends a web request to that server to retrieve one specific resource, whether it's a page, a document, as I mentioned before, and the server provides back to the browser uh, that, that piece of information. It could be uh, one specific document or a whole application with all the files that are needed for the browser to execute and show uh, data or show uh, some resources to the end user. And how those messages come back and forth, we're going to see on the next slide. Here's an example of an HTTP message that is sent from the browser to the server requesting some resources. In this case, we can see that this message is of method get. That, that means the browser wants to retrieve one resource from the web server. In this case, the resources is the page located, located on slash doc slash test.html. It points also to a specific host, test101.com. It accepts some kind of files like images and also start at the end, which means no filter, uh, uh, the page is accepted, the browser is accepting everything. Uh, it's also specified the language and some other attributes in there. Those are attributes of the header of the message. On the message body, you can see that it has some parameters to specify one book ID and one author. Those are customized parameters and could be applied in any case. In our case, for example, with business one, I could specify that I want to retrieve one information from a specific business partner or an item, for example. There are several types of methods in HTTP. Uh, we just saw an example of the method get to request a web resource, but we also have other methods like put and post to uh, write information in the server, to send information from the browser to the server, and also other methods. That concludes our unit. Thank you for your time.